Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. No. 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 Yes! <laughs> Woo! It's that magical time. It is. Welcome to my house, guys. Jamin Jackson here. I just got in from running some errands and I saw a new video. I've got a catalog of videos I gotta get caught up on uh, to watch. Because aside from dancing Lindy Hop, watching and critiquing Lindy Hop is something I love to do. People pay me to teach it, but they also pay me to judge it. And I wasn't the judge of this competition, but I like to put my opinion out there so you know what I like to look for. So, Niels and Bianca. Swing Dancing Battle at ILHC 2019, the Normalizer Finals. I don't know who won this competition, but we are going to dump, jump right in uh, to see what they do. Now, I'm a harsh critic because I want to see Lindy Hop grow artistically. And there's not that many dancers who are willing to work that hard to do it. But this couple might persuade me otherwise. So let's see what happens. And here we go. Ariel already. Now I can tell you right now, their outfits already got me watching them more than the other couple. Just because it's distracting and matching. Skills, skills. I like them old school aerials. Let's see what happens. All right, here we go. Round two. Oh, that's Ariadne and Simone. Yes. <laughs> this is kind of an interesting competition. You got to do a lot in a short period of time. See if you can get a lot of people's attention. Okay. Nice, nice. Yes. I like this battle format, this back and forth. I like that. Yes. Yes, I haven't seen that. <laughs> you have my attention. Yes. See, something as simple as that, guys. That's what we're looking for. That's... On the left. On the left. A lot of love, guys. Let's see who's next. What's up? Hey. Nice musicality with that. Yes. Yes. Some of the old school aerials, I like it. Yes, that entrance. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. I don't even know if they're old enough to see the Matrix. To have seen it. <laughs> oh, <man>. <laughs> <laughs> the 
swing out the whole time. This is almost not fair. In a good way. In a good way. Yes, 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 yes. Good job, band. Is that Jonathan Stout? Looks like it. Yes, yes, yes. So, Normalizer. That was pretty dope. I like the format of just battling it out, but I am somewhat disappointed. Nils and Bianca obviously crushed it. They do what they do best, which is hard work, lots of practice, lots of ingenuity, but there was hardly any competitors that could touch them. I get it. I want to see someone who can at least compete because that was just a massacre. It really was. I don't even think it was fair. But I got to give them props, a lot of props, because there are not that many dancers who could challenge previous generations of dancers. And I'm always looking for that. I'm not just looking for the, the new dancers that come along and they add a little step and they say, yep, yeah, I can do it too. I can do the Frankie around, the throw around, right? Lamp posts. I can do that too. Well, everybody kind of does that now. But there's very few who can actually go out of their way to add a little bit more value to those old steps in a fresh and interesting way. So they crushed it. A lot of props to those two. I, I would love to have been able to see that live, just to feel the energy. It's different watching it from home, but I can still feel the chicken skin on those certain parts. So I'm super happy. What did you guys think about this? I wasn't there. But what do you think about this? Do you think this was really, really, really good dancing? Or do you think they're kind of overrated? Do you think that there were not that many competitors that could actually go against them? What do you think? I think there weren't that many competitors that can go against them. But they are extraordinary. They are special. They got a lot of styling from the past. But they're adding a little bit of their unique voice that makes me appreciate it even more so. And if you haven't gotten a Lindy Hop, you need to. You need to. It's, it's time to get off your rear end and get into a class. I would take a class from Niels and Bianca. I would do it in a heartbeat, even as a teacher, just to see what's going on in their creative minds. See if I can add something to my dancing repertoire. So if you haven't taken dancing and you're terrified, I encourage you to start where you are at. If you're watching this video, click below. I got at least 25 to 30 videos that will help you kind of figure out how this thing works in the most simple way. It should be fun. So I'm curious. I want to hear what you guys think. What, what do you think about this performance? I, I think this was fantastic. A lot of hard work. But I want to know your opinion. Do you disagree with me? Am I wrong? Were they amazing? Were they just okay? Let me know. Until then, I will see you either in class or in the next video.